Yeah, we already have three potential candidates, all Democrats at this point, and political experts say things will only continue to get more heated in the coming months. It's been probably a decade since we've had this much interest in the mayor's race. Timothy Neeland is a political science professor at Nazareth College. He says the timing of James Shepard's announcement could help him down the road. Simply to get out there, uh, get some supporters, start raising money, because you will need some money, because the incumbent mayor, if she does decide to run, will have the advantage financially. We spoke with the mayor today, but she wouldn't say whether she's seeking re-election. However, the Friends of Lovely Warren Committee responded to Shepard's announcement with a statement saying, quote, County Legislator James Shepard has not delivered one single legislative initiative for his constituents since he has held county office and was the only legislator to vote against protecting taxpayer dollars when the county established the Office of Public Integrity. And now he wants to run for mayor. Is that something you agree with? I think that they, they put out a statement and their statement stands. As for me, I'm focused on being the mayor of the citizens of Rochester, and I'll continue to do that um, until I make a formal decision about what my next steps will be. What's your response at this point? Um, obviously, with the presidential election that we just had, um, it's uh, something I'm disappointed in in terms of the attack part of it, but it's part of politics, and uh, I'll roll with the punches, and we'll go through to the uh, primary. I think the spotlight's really going to be on lovely Warren, but also perhaps on what a new mayor could do for the city of Rochester. And a third contender, former TV anchor Rachel Barnhart, has also hinted at running, though she has announced formally a spokesperson for her exploratory committee hasn't wasted any time criticizing Shepard's record as police chief, saying there were serious unanswered questions and alleging his support of, quote, discriminatory policing policies. Now, things are just getting started, and we'll keep you updated as the race for Rochester's next mayor heats up. Rachel Spots, News 10 NBC.